All right, folks, we're live. Do we have a treat for you today? We're going to be making the lemon cookies as promised, and we're going to be making some stuffed mushrooms, which, believe it or not, I still need the mushrooms, so Lord is running out the door right now to go and get them. All right, so folks, bear with me for one second. I want to get this thing shared over to our group. All right, so let me get this over to the Rock in the Kitchen group page. All right, so that's now shared. All right, we've got good sound, so I'm not worried about that. Let's see if I can share this over to another group. And there we go. All right, so we got now listen, guys, share and tag this for me. Let's build a nice audience for this today. All right, now, before we get started, I don't know. I've been away for a while, a couple of weeks, if not more. Right? And um, I can tell you right now, I've been working hard because look what's missing. No more belly. you got to love it. <laughs> so, all right, why don't we uh, get started right now? Right? If you guys want to comment and stuff right now, I can't really see your comments because I don't have an assistant at the current moment. So it's going to be a little bit difficult to see what you guys are saying. All right, let me kill the sound on this. All right, cool. All right, now, as promised, we're going to be making my Nota Grace's lemon cookies. I have everything laid out here. All my ingredients are laid out here to make this a lot easier. So now, because I haven't made these in a long time, except for the other day, I am going to be cheating. I have a cheat sheet up here with my ingredients and how to do this properly because right, I don't want to screw this up. All right, so what you want to do, what you're going to need, if anybody got the uh, in the group, if you guys saw from the other day, I listed the ingredients and what you would need. So I hope some of you guys are cooking along with me. All right, so what we want to do is you want to start with your dry ingredients. You want to just get those mixed up and put them on the side. So right, what I have here is two cups of flour. Right, let's drop this in. You know what? Why don't I, uh, why don't I switch this over? There we go. Now you can see what I'm doing in there. I know that the sun is a little glaring on this. Let me see if I can fix that. That is so much better. All right. So like I said, I got two cups of flour here. And the next thing we want to do is we're going to add... Let me see, the baking powder, which I have to measure out. <clears throat> All right, let's get this back up here. So I can see All right, so you want three tablespoons of baking powder. So it's pretty simple. Just grab your tablespoon thingy. I hope you can see what I'm doing here. All right. That's one, two, and three tablespoons of baking powder. Right, let's get that out of the way. Now you're going to add just a pinch of salt to this, maybe an eighth of a teaspoon. You don't want to put too much in there. All right, so we're going to put that in. Just going to give this a quick stir. All right, and I'm going to set this aside for a minute. Now I'm going to get a brand new bowl out here because we're going to cream the butter, which you're using one whole stick of butter here. And so what you want to do is you want to get a stick of butter in here, and then you want to add your half a cup of sugar right into that. Right? And now if you can see this, let me make sure that you guys can see this. Okay, what you want to do is you just want to, your butter should be nice and soft. You just want to mash it down a little bit and mix it with that butter, I mean with that sugar rather, and, and cream it, which is what I'm doing right now. You just want to keep pressing it together and keep mixing it, turn it over until it blends together. Now you could do this. I was going to do this with my um, my KitchenAid, with my dough hook, which is what I would normally do, but that thing, it's not that it's loud, but it was interfering with the microphone, so I decided to do it the old-fashioned way and just do it by hand for you. So as you can see, it doesn't take long to mix this. It's, it's actually kind of easy. You just blend it together, 
I mean, that's how you cream your butter. It almost comes, it almost looks like uh, like a buttercream frosting with, with fresh sugar in it instead of confectioners. is pretty much what it looks like when you do this. All right, so now the next thing you want to do to this is, okay, you want to add in, let me just bring this back up. I know I'm reading this. I apologize. Like I said, I haven't made this in years, and I don't, I don't want to forget anything. All right. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to add in two tablespoons of lemon extract to our flour, our flour mixture. I'm just going to pour this right in here. And then we're going to add in the butter mixture. Okay. We're going to get this out of my way. And then we're going to add three eggs. Okay. Now I'm going to get this out of my way. And I'm going to grab myself a nice whisk. Okay. Grab a nice whisk. And we're going to blend this all together nice and gentle. Okay, and you're going to see this is going to begin to form your cookie dough as you incorporate that flour and all that in there. Let me tell you something, just putting that lemon extract in here, this smells so good already. By the way, you want to preheat your oven to 350 before you get started on all this. You want your oven nice and hot. And so again, this is not hard to do. Okay. Once I get this a little blended up and we start making dough, I'm going to take my whisk out of here. Okay, and believe it or not, I'm just going to stick my hand right in here and knead this just like regular dough, only it's cookie dough. Look how nice that comes together. Okay. So anyway, how's everybody doing out there? Like I said, I can't even see your comments or anything that's going on right now because I don't have it on the thing there. Leland Lively, how you doing? I see you're in there. What's up, buddy? All right. By the way, I know this is a strange time of the day to be doing this because football's on, but I figured for all the people that uh, don't want to watch football, come hang out with me. We'll make some cookies. We're going to make some stuffed mushrooms. And uh, I'm going to eat to my heart's content. I don't know about you, but I'm going to have a lot of fun with it. All right, so we just want to blend this dough together now. I'm going to get both my hands in here because I want to really make sure that this is mixed up. It should be a little sticky. Okay, but this is looking pretty good. So far, alrighty, just going to mix this all up nice. All right now, you see how quick and simple that was. It takes longer to prep out all the ingredients than it does to mix this stuff up. It's amazing. All right, let me just get my hands cleaned up. Okay, give me two seconds here for a quick rinse. Alrighty, we'll get my hands dried off. Now we'll come back in here with this. We'll just make sure that we got good dough. You can see the texture on that now that it's all mixed together. It's just basically cookie dough. Alright. So I don't know if you guys can hear it. I have some Christmas music playing in the background. I got it all low. I'm enjoying it. Okay, next up, what you want to do here, right, is we're going to set this to the side for a minute, and now I'm going to take my cookie sheet, which, by the way, this cookie sheet right here, if it looks old and beat up, it's because it is. This was my mom's from years and years ago. Well, the lawyer keeps saying, now it isn't, but it was. I know it was. Okay, I grew up with this cookie sheet, so I know it's a, that one. Anyway, let me get a tablespoon. Boy, I want you to go in there and see what's going on with the comments and stuff. Yeah, I appreciate that, Leland. I appreciate that. All right, so now, very simple. What you want to do is, after you get this dough all mixed up, right, all you want to do is you want to take a tablespoon, make a nice heaping pot, you know, nice bit of dough on there, right, and just drop it. Just drop it right on there, okay? You don't have to get fancy. Don't worry about it if it looks strange, because believe me, they're going to bake up nice. All right, so I'm just going to lay these out across this. And by the way, I'm using parchment paper for two reasons. Number one, it doesn't stick. Number two, the heat that it generates under there is gentle. 
than just putting it straight on the pan. Some of these recipes call for a greased pan. I'm going to tell you right now, if you put butter under these cookies, the bottoms, you risk making the bottom of the cookie too dark. So that's why I do it like this. It also helps me do something else. When I'm done with this and they come out of the oven, I'm going to let, I'm going to take these parchment paper and all, I'm going to pick the whole thing up and lay it right across my cooling rack because we're going to be putting the icing on top of these and it drips off. So you want something under there to catch it or you're going to be cleaning that stuff up for three weeks. All right, so in the meantime, let me just finish laying these out because we're going to put these in the oven. Now, while these are in the oven, I'm going to start making stuffed mushrooms for you guys. And then when, they, when those go in the oven, these will be coming out. I'm going to make myself a nice cup of espresso, and we're going to taste these cookies. Although I did cheat last week. I did make some. I'm sure some of you guys saw the pictures of it in the Facebook group, the Rock in the Kitchen group. And by the way, I wanted to say, and I couldn't even name all the people right now, but oh, my God, we had an explosion in two days, we had so many new members. It was ridiculous. Um, I posted like three or four different times the new members' names. And um, I'm just happy you guys are all there, and thanks for joining the group. Also, I should tell you while I'm doing this, I am writing the cookbook. And it is not the Rock in the Kitchen cookbook. I am writing a book entitled Wake Up, It's Sunday. It's basically all about growing up in an Italian-American household, and how you wake up on Sundays to the smell of frying garlic and frying meatballs and all the little traditions that go along with Sunday and all the recipes and stuff that go along with it and how special it is to, as my great-grandfather would say, the Maragano, the American Italians. So let me just finish this off and get these all out on here. We're almost there. Don't worry if they're a little close together. Believe me, that they'll pull apart just like biscuits. Which, if you were in either England or Australia right now, they'd say, why do you call those cookies? They're biscuits. Just ask Julie Angelina if she's around. All right. Now, the beauty of this recipe, it's measured out so perfectly that you'll say, I have 4, 8, 12, 16, 20 cookies. Right? If you make these a little smaller, you'd get two dozen cookies out of this. I like to make them a little big. You can make them just a little bit smaller, and you will get a perfect two dozen cookies out of this. All right, so in the oven, these bad boys are going to go, and then we're going to start making some stuffed mushrooms. Let me just get this down here. I'm putting this on my center rack at 350. They take between 11 and 14 minutes, depending on how big you make them. You should keep an eye on them because you want them soft. These cookies should never be hard. All right, let me come back up in here and show my face for a minute. Ah, there we are. How is everybody? All right. Who else is commenting? Anthony Cornetta, what's up? Randy Messina, what's up, dude? Merry early Christmas to everybody, by the way. Yeah, Leland, we're going to make those mushrooms right now. As a matter of fact, I might as well tell you what we're making is, what I am making, I should say, is I, I am making seafood stuffed mushrooms. Now, I can tell you right now, and especially Randy Messina is in there, believe me, if you ask him, right, he will tell you, you can make these a thousand different ways, right? I'm going to do this the way I like them, to my own taste, and like I always tell you guys, just because I'm making it my way doesn't mean you have to make it that way, okay? All you want to do is make these recipes yours, right, put it in what you like, if you say, ooh, I don't like that in there, don't put it in. Substitute it out. And that's also going to be in the book. How you can take any recipe, and just because there's an ingredient in certain recipes you don't like, doesn't mean you can't substitute certain things out. I mean, yes, there are certain times with recipes it's a little difficult to opt, you know, to, to switch stuff out or opt for something different. But I can tell you right now, it's not that hard to do. With a lot of recipes. Like I said, just ask it. Randy Messina is in that chat box right now. He's a great chef. Just ask him. He'll tell you. Right. So, let me uh, let me get what I need here now to start making these um, these mushrooms. I didn't even clean the mushrooms yet. So, we're going to do that live for you right now. These mushrooms look like they got the shit kicked out of them. <laughs> 
All right, here we go. Let me switch this. Let me switch this this back over so you can see what the heck I'm doing down here. By the way, I don't have a producer here today, so I'm doing this all by myself. I'm working the switcher, setting up the kitchen, doing all this crap myself. So, all right. I'm not going to make too many of these right now. I just want to show you. First, we're going to clean these mushrooms. We're going to set them aside, and then... Okay, anytime you clean a mushroom, just take a piece of paper towel and wipe them down. Do not run these bad boys on the water because you just don't. I never understood why you can't wash a mushroom. I just know it's a rule, and I don't do it. <laughs> Wait, Laura, are you in there watching the comments? Yeah, I am. Do you, you know who's watching? Who? Gloria Gomez. Oh, what's up, Gloria? How are you? Uh-oh. Where's Ruben Gomez in Minuto? <laughs> Actually, I haven't spoken to Ruben in a long time, or for that matter, John Creasy, who is a great guitar player from the band King's Harem. That band, that's um, Ruben Gomez fronts that band. It's been a quite a while since I spoke to any of those guys, but uh, we did, a few years ago, we did a live, one of the first live broadcasts I ever did that had nothing to do with cooking. That was when I was doing the Artist on the Rise radio show. I actually went down to New Jersey to John Creasy's house. He had his whole basement set up as a studio. And we went over there, and Ruben Gomez was in town. So he came over. He sang a few songs for us. We did it all live. And at that time, what was the pl the platform we were on? Pinterest or something? There was some kind of or broadcast or something, whatever the hell that thing was called back then. But it wasn't I Facebook. Facebook did not have Facebook Live yet. That's how long ago that was. But anyway, all right, I, uh, I got some mushrooms on the side. They're clean that I'm keeping the stems because I like to chop these up and I like to put them into the mixture that we're about to make. So let's begin with, first of all, it would be helpful if I had a bowl here. Just me being silly. All right, now what we're going to do here is, like I said, pretty simple. Right, first, let me get this out of the way. Let me get a cutting board up here. All I need is a small one. Let me get my favorite knife. All right, what I have here is I have some beautiful sea scallops. I have some crab meat. That's lump crab meat. And I just deveined and cleaned some colossal size shrimp. And I'm pretty sure these are about um, maybe 16 to 24 count per pound. Whatever they are, I don't even remember. I know you know, they were nice size. They're nice little shrimps, if you could see that. Did you see what Randy said? No, I didn't. I can't see anything anybody saying. Mushrooms will absorb the water and make them mushy. Well, that's one reason. I should say mushy. I, I knew there was a reason. I wanted to hear you say it, though. <laughs> For me? No, Randy. Oh. All right, so like I said, I got some scallops here. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to run my knife through these scallops. You don't want to chop them down. You just want to cut them up a little bit. Okay, so since we start with the scallops, I'm just going to throw those right into the bowl because we're going to make a beautiful mixture here to stuff these mushrooms with. Right, you want to leave this chunky. Don't destroy these. You want to taste this in your mushroom. You want to get nice bites of this when you cut. When you... Oh, by the way, because I screwed up with the mushrooms, I don't usually use these size mushrooms. Let me stop here for a second. These, these are regular baby Bellas, right? I eat these three sizes of Bellas. You have these small ones like this. They range from anything from about this size to this size and sometimes even smaller. And then there's another size up where they're about, actually, I could show you. Then you have another size up, which is this size, right? And then you have your actual portobellos, which are the, you know, the big flat looking ones. I'm using the smaller ones because unfortunately I bought these and I just don't like the way they look. They didn't look fresh to me after I opened up the package. So instead of using them, I had Lori run to the store and got me these. That's all I had. So we're going to use these smaller ones. And that's that. All right, let me finish chopping up these scallops now that I explained all that jazz to you. Not that you really cared. All right. Like I said, just run your knife through these. Don't destroy them. Don't make them too small. We're going to do the same thing to the shrimp in a minute. Also, if you're in the Allentown, Bethlehem, Easton, anywhere in the Lehigh Valley area, I can tell you right now, scallops are extremely expensive up here. But, and even though I don't get paid to do it, I am going to endorse my favorite place. They, they have two locations. One, they one all owned by the same family. One is called Elias. The other one is called Azar. 
Elias is on Union Boulevard, right up the block from uh, American Parkway. The other one is on 191, which is Bath Turnpike or Bath Pike, whatever they call that down there. And the one in Allentown on Union, they have a store next to their farmer's market, which they have a fish market there. And I can tell you right now, this stuff is always fresh and basically half the price of everybody else. So I've been going down there, and as you can see, all this stuff is really fresh. So I recommend them. If you're in this area, I recommend them highly. All right, here we go. Now, for the shrimp, pretty much just chop, make, make like quarter-inch size slices of your shrimp, okay? We're going to lose the tail. We're going to put that in with the scallops, okay? All right, get that in there and cut up a few more of these. Yes, I clean the shrimp myself. Yes, I hate cleaning shrimp. <laughs> Never fails. I try to get the vein out, and it always wins. So you should be pleasantly surprised that these shrimps aren't macerated right now from me deveining them because I usually destroy half of them, but I got lucky today. Anyway, anybody talking in there? What's going on in there? No, it's quiet. Okay. I invited a whole bunch of people, but it's quiet. Yeah, well, it's Sunday, and there's football on. I'm sure people will watch the replay of this. I'm not even worried. All right, so I got my shrimp and my scallops in there. All right, I'm going to just get this crap out of my way here. I'm going to take this out of my way. Quick rinse of the hands. Let me get dried up here. All right, now let's get this back in view. So those are the shrimps and scallops. Next. The hero of this is basically this crab meat. We're going to drop in all this lump crab meat. All right. To this, I am going to add one egg. Okay. I'm going to put about a cup of breadcrumb in here. That's more like three quarters I think I just put in there. Now, these lemons, this lemon right here, believe it or not, it looks like it's beat up. That's only because I uh, use this to make my little confetti, which we're going to do that in a little while for the cookies. I use this. I used this the other day, but these, these lemons are so fresh. It's, it's crazy how fresh these are. So I'm just going to cut this in half. All right. I'm going to get my trusty strainer out of here. Put them in the right door. All right. And I'm going to squeeze some lemon juice in here. Little lemon juice. About half a lemon's worth. You don't want too much in here. You want some. Okay, we'll get this out of the way. See how juicy that lemon was? Amazing. All right, now the next thing we're going to do All right, give me this. We're going to get, don't mind me, I forgot to measure this out, so I'm going to do it now. All right, now you got about a half a cup of mayonnaise. It's really more like three tablespoons, two and a half, three. I don't like to put too much mayonnaise in this. Let me get that out of my way. Now I'm going to clean off my knife and look what I have here. Some of the most amazing fresh dill. And I'm, and I'm just going to didn't get there yet, bro. It didn't get there yet. I'm going to get some of this beautiful dill. You got to see how I, I wish you could smell this dill right now. It's amazing. I'm going to just chop this down nice and fine. I didn't measure this. Say a quarter of a cup. Give or take. Okay, so I got my dill. I'm going to get that into the bowl. Your brother's watching. What's up, Georgie Porgy? All right, so we got some nice fresh dill in there. We already put our lemon juice in. Now we're going to salt. Now listen, usually I would use sea salt for this, but the kosher salt that I've been using lately is so coarse that I actually have to show this to you. Okay. I don't know if you can see that. Look how coarse. That's kosher salt. That's not even sea salt. It's almost... 
as coarse as sea salt. And it's got a nice flavor, so I've been using this. I'm going to put a nice little punch of salt in there. And, of course, some black pepper. Maybe about a quarter of a teaspoon, maybe a little more. Okay, now I'm thinking maybe we'll put maybe we'll generate a little heat here. I just got a little hot sauce, so I'm just gonna put just a little sprinkle, a little shake of hot sauce in there, not too much, just a little bit. All righty, and now we're going to mix this bad boy up and start stuffing mushrooms. All right. Mix this up real good. Oh, that smells delicious. You don't have to put the hot sauce in there, by the way. You really don't have to if you don't want to. Denise is I'm going to finish mixing this and we're going to go check on those cookies because something tells me they're done. All right, we're down on the side. We get a trusty rig. Say hi to Alan Denise. Hello. All right, those cookies are not done yet. No, I just realized I may have screwed up those cookies. How? Because this was a teaspoon instead of a tablespoon. I used three teaspoons of baking powder instead of three tablespoons. So they may be miniature. No, they may be very weird, but we're going to find out. <laughs> All right, so let's finish mixing this up while those cookies continue to bake. And now we're going to start stuffing some mushrooms. Now, what you might want to do, what you might want to do, yeah, you might want to take a small knife and just clear this out a little bit to make room for the stuffing. Because like I said, I should be using bigger mushrooms for this. So I'm going to make a little room in here. All right. Yeah, that batch of those cookies the other day came out phenomenal. My brother's still in there. I don't know. Well, George, if you're in there listening, I made Grandma Grace's lemon cookies the other day. They came out phenomenal. Say hello to Alfie, even though you were cooking. Watch out. Oh, geez. Hey, what's up, Al? What's going on, dude? Yeah, I'm cooking. Why should I be cooking? <laughs> what else you want me to do? Boring around here. All right. Now we can start stuffing. What's he saying that nut job? No, it's Gloria. She wants cookies. Please send them. I'll think about it. And George said, yeah, I see that. All right, so we're just going to stuff these. I use a teaspoon. I heap it. Right? And that's pretty much what it looks like. Meantime, it would be very helpful if I had a pan to put these in. Give me, give me, um, give me one of those. The deeper one. All right. We'll get some more of this mixture. Now, when you, when you put this mixture in, try and get a piece of scallop. Try and get a piece of shrimp. Right? Try to get a little bit of everybody in there. And don't be bashful. Pack that bad boy right in there. Put plenty of that stuff in. I keep missing my own camera angle here. See how nice that looks? Okay? See the depth of that. All right, now to the tray they're going to go. What's Capanzella? Uh, I don't remember. Why? Who's asking and why? Al. Happens, so. I could be pronouncing it wrong also, since I'm Jewish. <laughs> and not Italian. Alright, so in the meantime, I'm doing this off camera like a jackass. Sorry about that. But again, make sure you grab a piece of scallop, a piece of shrimp. Crab meat's already mixed in there, so don't worry about that. And just pack them up nice. It's sheep's head. Oh, okay. I don't eat. I, I don't eat that crap. My great grandfather did. I don't. I mean, my brother's in the hotel. Your grandpa there in the used to eat that. 
And I also think my mother's father used to eat that type of stuff too. Then again, that was his, that was my great grandfather's son, so he probably grew up with it. There's a very good chance that he ate it also. I don't know what it tastes like. I wouldn't taste it, thank you very much. Well, I just asked Al how to make it. <laughs> he eats that? I guess so. So was he asking what it was, or yeah. were you asking what no. it was? No, he said, what I asked him what is Captain Zella, he said cheap's head. Okie dokie. The only sheep's head I do is when I go to Brooklyn and go to Sheep's Head Bay and go to Rondazzo's for clams. I went to the high school. That was supposed to be fun. It was fun. Yeah. Not. Yes. Anyway. Oh, really? What? Yes, we do eat it. When are you making it? <laughs> Dude, when you get your ass over here and make it, that's when I'm making it. <laughs> Let me switch to this other view. Hey. You're out of your mind, Al. It's not happening. Why is this not playing my video? I guess people are still seeing me, but for some reason there's many. Is Vito? Vito? <laughs> is that Vito Tambolino? Tamborello. Uh huh. <laughs> is everybody seeing this video? I don't know. I am. Do you seeing it? Yeah. I don't know, because on mine it's saying that they're having trouble playing the video. So I'm going to go to the group and see if it's live in there. Where the hell is my own video? Oh, you know what? It's not in the group. Why not? I have no idea. It doesn't matter. I'll share it to the group later on. Keith is here. Keith! What's going on, Keith? Okay, now I see. Let me open this up so I can see some of these comments. What up if I muted the sound? I know. I know you see me neck down. I'm leading into the thing, you menace. I'm going in here to check these cookies. <laughs> All right, the cookies are done. I'm going to get them out of here. They came out a little large, but that's all right. <laughs> you are getting so quick on life. <laughs> I'm sure I am. Al says all you can see is all he can see is from your neck down. I know, I saw that. And George says all he sees is a gray beard. How about somebody say something about I lost so much weight? You bunch of bums. I want a cookie. No cookie for you. All right, we're gonna get back to those cookies right now. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna you know what? Let me put this back. All right, I'm gonna move this on the side. We're doing double duty here. All right, let me clean this off. <coughs> By the way, Al, I've seen recent pictures of you. You could use a diet yourself there. I went from 263 to 215. It took my A1C from 12 to 6. I am no longer a diabetic. How's that? It's a beautiful thing. All right, let me get these cookies up and off of these cooling racks. All in one shot. Just like that. I don't know if you guys can see what I'm doing over here. I'm just having so much fun reading the comments. Your brother said you're going to still make a good Santa. And Al said, I got two words for you, and it ain't Merry Christmas. I got two words for you, too. I'll let you use your imagination. But it has something to do with looking at the back of your head. <laughs> Anyway, I have my back to the camera. Sorry about that, folks. Uh, let me see. Yeah, I'll give I make a great set. Do you see how baggy these pants on me? I got to buy all new clothes. That's how much weight I lost. Anyway, I took the stems out of the mushrooms, and I never chopped them up into that. Speaking of which, I'm going to put these few in that oven right now. We'll put a little water on the tray just so that it doesn't burn. The bottom. The double for what? All right, in the oven with some of these mushrooms, so we get these done. I'm pretty sure if it's No, then it would be Lady in Guadalupe Day, not no, Santa no, Lucia no. Day. Gloria finally said hi to you. <laughs> yeah. yeah, hello to you too. It's only my show. It's all right. Talk to everybody else. And who was making fun of my great beard? My brother? Yeah. And Al said you can play Santa Cook Sanity Claws. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's a typo. He meant insanity claws. 
All right, listen, let's get serious now. I'm going to get some warm water going. All right, and we're going to make the frosting for those cookies, which, by the way, they're back here. I don't know if you can see them. You know what? I might as well do this. Hang on a second here. Let me make a switch. Let me turn this on. All right, and let's go right over here. And there are the cookies. Okay, they came out a little bigger than I would have liked them, but they came out pretty big. You know, they smell delicious and they look just as good. So, all right, so now what we're going to do is I'm going to put to this confectioner sugar, I have three cups here. I'm going to put a table, uh, yeah, a tablespoon of the lemon extract. Okay, and I'm going to put a quarter of a cup. Let me just double check that and make sure it's a quarter of a cup and not an eighth of a cup because if you put too much of it, you're going to have slime. So let's see. Yep, quarter of a cup of warm water. We're going to put that right in there. Now I'm going to grab a spoon. I can never find the spoon that I want in this house. It just never, never happens. Anyway, we're going to make this frosting. Watch this miraculously come to life. It's a beautiful thing. Am I on the right camera angle here? Yes, I am. Okay. I'm going to mix this up. Now, listen, while you're doing this, if, if it seems like it's not thickening enough, just add a little more confectioner sugar. But these measurements usually come out correct. It will thicken up for you. And... and if you're an idiot like me and you didn't sift it, you might want to use a whisk <laughs> right, to break it down because once you break all that sugar down, that's when it will start to thicken up for you to, the, to where you want it. Right? Again, when you take these cookies out of the oven, leave them on, on the parchment paper because you're going to drizzle this all over it. And I'm telling you, if you don't want a mess, dripping down through your, uh, through your, your wire racks there, your cooling racks, You'll be there forever cleaning it up, especially if it dries up. It's delicious. When you you know what? I do need just a drop more confection of sugar here. When you made it last week, and Denise and I were cleaning up, yeah. we were actually licking off, yeah, off, sure. off the cloth from paper. And, and they're proud of this. They acknowledge that they did this. Hey, Animals. Oh, yeah, absolutely. It was delicious. Yeah, I made a little confection of sugar to this because I want this a little bit thicker than what I have it right now. It was delicious with the lemon rind on it. Yeah. Come on now. Which we're going to do that. You know what? That's still a little loose. That's still just a little loose. I should use the different measuring cup. I probably put too much water in here. Alrighty. That should do it. You guys still with me out there in uh, Facebook land? Oh, and if DJ Chaz is in there, Chaz, your shout out goes something like this. Vaffanculo face a book. Okay, that one's for you. And for you non-Italians, if you don't know what that is, go look it up. I understand why this won't pick it up for me. You know what? I'm actually going to put just a drop more sugar in here. This is still a little loose. Pain in my butt. And if Gloria's out there laughing at me right now, you're not getting any. All right, that should do it. All right, we're pretty good now. Is Randy Messina still in there? I don't know. All right, we should be good now. Let me get a spoon. Well, let me bring the cookies over here without making a mess. Yeah, dream about that. Yes. Randy is still there. Randy, I'm trying to figure out where I can buy boxes to mail this stuff to people's Christmas gifts this year, so you might get a package. I will need an address to do it, but we'll talk about that later. All right, here come the cookies. Now, let me explain. Now, this is what I meant. See how nice that is? These are nice and soft, soft on the inside, and the bottoms are perfectly brown. If you were to put, when I see a recipe that calls for a greased pan, butter or something like that underneath these, 
your bottom of your cookies is going to get so dark, right? And the butter will burn. Just put them on parchment paper because you're not going to beat that color and the flavor that's in you. are just not going to beat it. It's delicious. She and wants a doggy bag. Hey Keith, you want a doggy bag? I'll, I'll be over later because I'm having some of that meatloaf and I'll bring you some stuffed mushrooms and cookies. We'll swap. Meantime, I made a mess out of these cookies. I just want you're not getting a cookie. Know. All right. So now, what you want to do here is, before we do that, let me get this stuff out of my way. Yes, this is a cheese grater. Yes, this is a large cheese grater. What I want you to do is, when you zest the lemon, you're basically grinding it down. It's so fine it disappears. That's not what we're trying to achieve here. Uh, what we want to do to this. And I'm going to figure out how to do this on camera for you. Is we've all seen shredded coconut, right? So you want to do this. All right, let me just move this camera. Okay. What you want to do is just take your lemon and literally grate. I already washed this lemon, by the way. You want to grate. You're literally taking the skin right off that lemon and you're grating it. Okay, when you get that, it's going to look like this. Okay, so it's still zest, but it's much more coarse. And the reason why we do it that way is let's get a couple of these cookies lined up here. You're going to take... Oh, got to put the camera back, actually. Get us the easy way. Okay, what you're going to do is, you're going to take this. This is still not thick enough. Hang on a second here, folks. Sorry for the delay on this, but this is still not thick enough. What? Those washrooms ain't done yet. I have no idea. I must have put way too much water in there. I don't know why it did this. It didn't do this the other day. I can promise you that much. You want this to get a little pasty. Now we're cooking somewhere here. Now we're cooking with fire. It's back. <clears throat> just gonna give this one more good whisking now we want now we got what we want here now we're thick enough all right sorry for the delay on that but like i said i must have put too much water in there or something all right so very simple take your spoon let this drip all down your cookie Okay, before it dries, you're going to take that lemon zest that we made, put that right on top. And there you have some beautiful, beautiful lemon cookies. I don't know if you can see that, but that's how you do that. And then if you want, when that drips off, move the cookies around and let it sit right on there and get some on the bottom and let that dry up. Just make sure you get them off your sheet before, but they'll, they'll come off the parchment paper. But then they're going to be nice and sweet and nice and lemony. All right, so that's how that works. For those of you that wanted to know, because everybody and their grandmother, no pun intended, asked you for this recipe. When I put up the picture of those cookies the other day, everybody was asking for total strangers who were contacting me from countries all over the world. I never heard of these people. So I said, all right, let me, uh, let me make them live. Randy said it looks beautiful. Thank you, Randy. I'm going to finish decorating these later because... Actually, I should decorate a few more because Denise and Lori are both standing on that side of the table right now staring at me like, where's my cookie? Where's your cookie? I'll tell you where your cookie is. <laughs> Those are from the other day, you thief. Let me, let me do a couple more. I'm not stupid. Let me, let me just do a couple <laughs> more of these. I want a fresh one. All right, guys, gotta dig in. Joe DeMonte is in. What's up, Joe? Hey, George, Joe DeMonte's in there. 
All right, ladies, you want a nice warm cookie? Yes, please. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> Do I hear the pitter patter of large feet coming up the stairs? No, you heard the pitter patter of Santino feet. Oh. There's a cookie for you. Oh, Lord. Here's a cookie for you. And here's a cookie for me. I didn't make any espresso to go with this. Anyway, we're going to try these suckers right now. Oh, yeah. You got to see. Right now, the inside is cooking. It's so soft. Look at that. The bottom's a little firm, and that's the way they should be. Randy said to use a, a turkey baster next time. Yeah, I know I could, but I was just um, I was cheating. And Vito might be going live. Hey, Vito. Say so AD's birthday. Whoever AD is. Hey, Vito, were you, were you on that video last night with Chaz and Keith? And Anthony was maniacs called my phone at 12.30 last night, dressed in some weird Christmas outfits. I don't know what was going on there, but they frightened me. I'm going to chuck those mushrooms. A little more. Yeah, a little bit more for those mushrooms. We have another few minutes. One time I'm going to get these cookies out of my way. Those cookies came out better than the ones from the other day. Yes, they did. That was the test run. This was the good run. I made some adjustments. That's why. Mm. Vito was sleeping too. Mm. All right. Let me get cleaned up a little bit. We kind of went backwards because we had dessert before we had the mushrooms, but I'm not complaining because I can't wait to taste those mushrooms. I think I'm going to give those mushrooms about three more minutes. And then I'm going to pull them, and we're going to feast on I wish you guys could taste this stuff. If they ever lift this damn COVID restrictions, I'm planning a big rock in the kitchen blowout, and most of you guys are going to be there. Um, I'm only going to charge you 400 ahead, so don't worry about it to get into the building. But, you know, I'll give a discount to anybody that I actually like. You know, so take 3% off. So, uh, by the way, Al... You add 10%. He left already. No, did he? <clears throat> all right. So all that's left to do right now is taste the mushrooms. And then once we do that, we'll be done. We can, I really should make myself an espresso right now. That was so delicious. Yeah, those cookies came out really good. <laughs> Well, Vito said your friends are like owls. They only come out at night. Yeah, right. That was delicious, boy. Thank you. Yeah, Vito, I see you, you said you could keep your eyes open. Those maniacs are calling me, right? I'm laying in bed trying to fall asleep watching Christmas movies. Right? I watched um, the Santa Claus and then I had on Miracle on 34th Street, the good one with Natalie Wood. Trying to fall sick in the phone dragon. And that was the last thing I wanted to see was that picture that they sent. I was horrified. <laughs> Randy wants to know if I want that in wooden nickels. Whatever you got. What does that mean? I told him that I was going to charge 400 ahead to get in. Oh. <laughs> Don't think I won't take them, Randy. Don't think I won't take them. <laughs> Look at poor Santino. You want to taste the lemon cookie? Come here. Come here, dog face. My dog wants to try to cook it. Who am I to say no? Did he eat it? Oh, he ate it, all right. <gasps> you gavone, get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let me go over here and check these mushrooms. Get away from the oven. Get away from the oven, boy. Yep, I think those mushrooms are just about done. No, you're not getting any more. I hear I'm not getting any more. Delicious. Alrighty. <laughs> Let me get nice. a dish. <laughs> okay, what's going 
first. We've got a fork. Life. All right, we're going to get one of these bad boys on here. All right, folks, what do you think? Here's our finished mushrooms. Let me switch the camera angle here. All righty. You see, you know what? There's no light on this side of the thing here. But anyway, that's the mushrooms. If this, let me see if we get some light in here. Hold on a minute, folks. That looks delicious. That's better. Stop mushrooms. Let's cut into this bad boy. I can't get this camera right. <laughs> You're right. Let me see if I can zoom in. There we go. Let's see what we got here. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Nice. Very, very nice. Meantime, I'm trying to show them, and I'm going all the wrong way here. How's that? It's still not showing it. Anyway, let me just go ahead and taste this thing. Switch it on camera angle. Yeah, actually, they did see it up close. Oh, okay. And they can see it on the plate. That smells so good. You know what? It could be something different here. Oh, look at that. Smells good. That's what I'm trying to do right now. There we go. All right, let me taste this. <laughs> yeah, he's funny. Boy. He's like, what? No garnish? You did already. Yeah, yeah, I'm not garnishing it. I'm hungry. Oh, man. Oh, man. That really came out really good. I'm going to walk behind something. Would you come take a bite? She's over there holding her mouth open. No, I'll just go grab one. Okay. Huh? I'll just go grab Come one. take a bite. Come around. Is that big enough? <laughs> Shouldn't even come into the camera angle. Good? Mm -hmm. This one, taste it? Yeah. You're not, you're not a fan of seafood, you sure? It's got it's it. Crab, it's shrimp, it's scallop. It's it's the what I lie to you? No, but. Yes, she would. She would lie to you all day long. It's delicious. It's so moist. Let me give you a small piece. You're just staring at these cookies. And you can't have them. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> All right, folks, I'm going to get ready to wrap this up. Denise is not a fan. You should see the look on her face. <laughs> you don't do seafood. I don't. All right, I'm going to stop chewing. I'm going to bring this over here. Bring this up. All right, folks, that's all I got for you today. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. And uh, I guess I'll see you guys next week or whenever the hell we do this again. And have a great night. Have a great weekend. Have a great day, whatever. <laughs>